Shivaya. <laughs> so we're here at the border wall at uh, Nagala's. This is Swami, and here Mirabai Moon, and here Kesi Gopala. So um, the question is about spiritual activism, and, and we're here doing our best to represent in, a, in an active way, not passive, not sitting back, um, understanding what the goal of life is and understanding something about the paths that, that we're on. We were reading a little bit ago a beautiful quote, a beautiful inspiration from Shams of Tabriz. Shams of Tabriz is known as uh, Rumi's guru. And, uh, and he speaks of patience. And he says, patience is not sitting back waiting for something. Patience is seeing the process that's at work. He says, seeing the thorn and also seeing the rose is patience, is an example of patience. And in that way, spiritual activism is seeing that love alone is, that there is only the one, the universal heart of all, here in this world expressing is this diversity but also understanding that, that until we come to see, we suffer. Spiritual activism is active, that is, it moves. It moves through us. Um, as we learn to embody love, compassion, kindness. It has no angst, it does not work against anyone. It works for the benefit of all. It works for peace and freedom. It works arm in arm with love, with this universal force, in order to help us each to find it, to know it, to take root in it. It's not about one versus another. The spiritual activist truly has the ability to be the friend of all. And we all suffer from the same thing here. We don't suffer from something different. We come here today, we pray that these walls may come down, and we also know that they will. We know that they will. We know that all of the walls that divide us are destined to come down. But we don't wait for them to come down. We offer ourselves and do our best to support the movement. May we all serve the cause of love. All know the truth within us. May we love all and serve all. And so it is. And so it is. Tatsa. Mm -hmm. Tatsa. Tatsa. Tatsa.